This is the beginning of the end. The first set of crabs is spawning. Wasn't this one of the biblical plagues? If not, green chickens have to be like some warning in themselves. So either way, this is going to be bad for Zerg. All right, we're on Critter Lord. We're going to go ideally heavily crabs. We'll see how things turn out though. So since there's not a lot for us to do early game, we're going to sit on this prophet as long as he doesn't run away from us and try and get him some lings. We could sit on a vision tower as well, but I, th I think this is just a little bit more helpful for team. All right. We found Breck, which is nice. If he follows us, that's even nicer. I'd love to make this a plus two, but I do want to wall it off. It looks like he might be following me, that's fine. I imagine he has swaps, so I do want to be a little bit careful, but we're in no real danger, as long as they keep moving. Yeah, I think we'll scout for this Artanis. If Breck swaps on top of him, he's in some serious trouble, so we'll stay on this side and try and watch out for Breck. Ah, uh, we're seeing a, a line of lings. That's the defenders though, so I'm not sure if it's Breck controlling them or not. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit over here. I do have to be a little bit careful myself. Ooh, break his ankles. You know he just punched a hole in his monitor right there. The game might already be GG. We can keep an eye on him and make sure everyone's safe at the start. That's huge. We can kind of bait him into coming to us. Waste his time. Again, don't want to risk it too much. What Swap should be up now. We don't want to be in too bad of a position. I do want to see where he's going. I wonder if he's... I'm going to hit up here real quick. Scout for this... Uh... Okay, scout for the Artanis. Yeah, so our main job at the moment is just... Because we have so much eco space here. Is to, one, be in a position where we can salvage and remake an eco really fast. And I mean, there's eco spots all over the map. So that's not really a problem. The other is provide some sort of assistance for our team. Since we have a super fast, highly mobile hero with vision. So we can do shit like pulling in lings for our teammates, scouting vision of the hunter, maybe sitting on a watchtower if you don't want to micro too much. Come over here and try and make sure we have eyes on the hunter once again. Be a little bit careful, don't want to take too much damage before we get there. Also don't really want to run up a ramp into him, but he shouldn't be on this watchtower because nothing has vision of it yet. Alright, we could just sit here for a bit I suppose. We do kind of want to start farming soon. I like to get some more eco. We obviously have a lot of room for eco, but I also want to secure these watchtowers. Looks like Awen might actually be coming over to this one, so it's fine. I can't really run into him too much now. Like, with all these ramps down the bot side of the map, it's just too risky. So we may as well get on the other side of the map where open watchtowers are. Maybe start working on controlling them. I mean, Glevig's slowly moving out. By the time I want to start making units, she's probably going to be at this watchtower, sadly. But still, we'll just keep this up. We are very rich if we get this off, even though it's all plus two, we'll be incredibly rich and then we can start getting 1-1, one, one, making Terragantua at all these towers. I make it here? Nah, there's three lings, I just, I want to give that up for now. Kind of want to make one here and get vision and then move off to one of these top towers. Alright, Prophet's over here, so that's kind of nice actually. Okay, Breck's over here, that's a bit worrying. I don't want to move, maybe secure some second eco-location that's not near the top side and that's definitely not near Breck. Yeah, I think we'll go for that now. Maybe down here or something. Or down, I mean there's a... T yeah, nah fuck it, we'll do it down here even though there's an outpost. That's fine. we will just do this real fast and then get all this all this defended. We'll be able to start getting some gas and going for these crabs. We probably, yeah, we want to get some chickens as well actually. Do this for vision real quick. Get a couple of these guys up. Maybe, uh... Uh, maybe just patrolling, they can't really do a whole lot. Get 1-1. One, one. Now we can start going some chickens and some crabs. We're going to start expanding really fast. Just have to get some chickens first for the for the gas income. Then we'll like set up some probes around the map so we can kind of just make shit everywhere. Then we can just jump between our idle workers and keep moving around the map. Maybe make a bit of eco as we go. This is the beginning of the end. The first set of crabs is spawning. Wasn't this one of the biblical plagues? If not, green chickens have to be like some warning in themselves. So either way, this is going to be bad for Zerg. Constantly on zero gas because of these, uh, oh, that's not good. Because of these crabs. Do I need to do anything for the Artanis? Probably not. Let's start moving our, our idle probes around the map. Oh, that's big. Can I... Can I kill some of those? Actually, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. If he swapped on me there, I'd be annoyed. Yeah, he's gonna come for us, but this is this is worth it for all the gas income we're getting. I don't even care if I feed. 
This gas is going to be huge for us. I'm not going to make any crabs there yet in case... No, yeah I am. It's cheap as hell. If he wants to follow me, so be it. Just keep moving around with this. Once we hit 200 supply, we'll start banking some gas. Go for unit vision. And then we will hit them with an F2 mid. I mean, I can salvage this. Might as well. Keep that probe alive is the main thing. Okay, that's my eco found. That's big. Uh, in a bad way, that is. We've still got this up. It's not a big deal. We'll easily be able to recuperate our eco. In fact, I might go for one up here. It does look like he's moving this way, but it'll be pretty hard for him to kill. And we don't have to invest a whole lot into it. Okay, I want to fill out my side supply with chickens now. It's at this point where I want to start banking gas and going for that uh, that upgrade. How much is it? It's 25, I think. Yeah, 25. So we'll save 25 gas and then be able to get our vision. <laughs> Everyone's going to Ezeko. It's kind of... I uh, need to get down here to farm gas, don't we? Like, there's... Everyone's all around the map. He's down here. Okay, we can, we can go vision now. Now I'm just going to F2 mid. This, this will kind of defend itself. The crabs will be uh, be made from there, so it's fine. Might even get some patrolling up here. But that vision's going to be huge. We can just salvage this. We've got another eco up here. Invest our gas into it that we are now getting from this huge push. Maybe go for a, a two armor real quick. This might not even go down, actually. Which is fine by me. And back to spreading our crabs to everyone in sight. These, uh, these crabs get made very fast. Some guys left up here. Maybe we can uh, maybe work our way downwards here. We don't really have anything here. Keep up the eco when we can. Why not? We want to focus on clearing creep as well. It's nice if we can get to mid, but this strategy is not really for breaking mid. Like if they ever get lurkers, these crabs are basically just feed. What we're doing is kind of destroying their win condition of creep. We're going to push their creep only into the mid area where they can defend it with lurkers or whatever they want. And then from there, we can outscale them as a team and win. And they'll have a hard time finding any Ecos. I also want to keep up my options for Eco spots. Which is very easy to do when you've got full map control and workers placed around the entire entire map in different corners and shit. Though I'm not sure where Brack is at the moment. Okay, he might be down here. No, probably not. Really hard for him to clear out anything. I think I can get a crab on a tower. I don't know if it starts wandering away. No, as long as I right-click it, can't attack move it there or anything, or patrol it, you can't patrol these units. Right, he's coming around here, so I might start moving. Um, or will I? Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll just get crabs over here for, yeah. I was going to say, I might want my hero for vision. I can just deal with crabs. These guys have a decent amount of base vision, more than zero, which is what every other unit you have has, other than your hero. So they already have a nice amount of vision, and then that just gets boosted with the vision upgrade we do, so it's... As we see, very easy for us to clear all this crap. There's pretty much nothing outside of mid now. And a lot of our stuff are breaking their way into mid, actually. Might be some stuff up here still. There's this. I definitely need to clear that. Keep my allies' eco alive. Uh, we'll stop upgrading that eco because he might be coming towards it. Start ecoing on another side of the map, though. And just keeping an eye on him. He is still bot left, so we're in no real danger. Even though we're bot mid. Maybe we could... Well, we're bot right. We can just work our way back up to here. That's fine. Thing is, if he does jump on us, we're always at 200 supply because we're just permanently making these crabs. So it does put us in a bit of danger where we have to make sure that he can't can't achieve that. We have to be in a position where we're just always away from him because we cannot make units to defend ourselves. Oh, these, this sneaky little tumor got down here. Right, I might want to just salvage this preemptively so I can focus on more important things. Like these crabs. Want to make sure I don't box them in when they spawn as well, ideally. I also want a, a probe over here, but I'm, I'm not getting the supply for it. Keep instantly making crabs, which is kind of a good problem to have. I guess I don't need more spawners if I'm always max supply on crabs. I will start moving though. Not sure which way he's heading. Kind of want to start making more eco there. Could go to attack. Um, yeah, I should go to attack actually. I'll just do that and make some eco up here. I mean, Zerg didn't make uh, make lurkers, so we just clear out mid anyway. If they make lurkers, our only detection is our hero and Giga Blossom. Obviously, a bit too expensive and clunky for us, and uh, our hero would be in danger if we sent that. So it's a it's a big counter to this, but 
That's why we focus mostly on clearing the peripheral creep. Take that win condition away. And then, you know, with all this gas that we do feed them with the crabs, they're not going to be able to achieve much with it if they don't have much creep. Of course, in this case, they have like zero creep, which is even better. Oh, she snuck up there. That's not good. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can whittle them down with crabs. Probably does more DPS than current Artanis Immortals. Nah, I need to get up here. What's going on there? Okay, there we go. GG.